hello and welcome back again to my channel today i share with you this ghanian delicacy this is ghana in pinghu kokoyam porridge or empoto empoto it's very very delicious and you will definitely love it at the end of this video if today been your first time on this channel hello this is cooking with a fear can you do subscribe to my channel also turn on the post notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video on this channel you'll be among the first person to be notified now let's dive right into it to start with i'll start by peeling off my main ingredients so the main ingredients for this recipe is cocoa yam yes and so i'll start by peeling off the skin from the cocoa yam just the way you see it on the screen right now so now let's peel it very nicely and proceed to the next stage while that is going on if you haven't give this video a thumbs up yet baby what are you waiting for and you give this video a thumbs up if you like what i'm doing also share this video to reach wider audience thank you so much for doing that all right so now we are done peeling off the skin from the cocoa yam so i'll start by cutting them into small pieces just the way you're seeing it on the screen right now it shouldn't be very very small because we're going to overcook this cocoa yam to be in a porridge form so when it becomes very very small all your cocoa yam are going to turn into porridge and i don't want my input on portal to turn into porridge form i want a little bit of chunks of cocoa yam in it so i will cut them into bigger shapes just the way you're seeing it on the screens right now all right so while that is done i'll go ahead and wash my cocoa yam in water and so the water runs out very very clean so i washed mine for about three to four times and it was just perfect whilst we're washing our cocoa yam if you haven't still subscribed to this channel yet baby what are you waiting for please you want to subscribe to my channel and be part of this beautiful family thank you so much for doing that all right so next let me introduce to you the rest of my ingredients so i'll be going in with some dry herrings and also other smoked fish as well i will also be going in with some salted beef and also momone next i'm also going to be using palm oil as well now a typical equiapim lady or woman is going to use cooking oil for this recipe and the ashantis we use palm oil that is the difference between ashantis and poton poto and equiapims and poton poto they sometimes use palm oil as well it depends on who is preparing it all right i'm also going to be using pepper fresh tomatoes and also onions so to a big pot i'll go in with my chopped cocoa yam i also go in with all my proteins which i introduced to you earlier on i'll also be going in with the fresh tomatoes onions and also the pepe basically this is the perfect ingredients for mpoton poto you can also go in with extra or any other thing if that is what you want but this is just okay for me all right all right moving forward i'll go in with my water and the water should be enough to cover the ingredients very well right afterwards i'll go in with some salt to taste i will cover and allow it to cook until the vegetables becomes very soft and after extra 10 to 15 minutes i am back to check on it and the vegetables is nice and very soft so i will remove everything and blend it and i will come back to add it to it again right so we are back to check on it after blending the ingredients so we're going to go in with the blended ingredients i'll stir very well 
and allow it to cook until it's nice and very thick as you can see the water around the cochlear is still light and i want the consistency of the water to be a little bit thick that is when you know your impotum potter is ready and remember as well to check your impotum potter from time to time and do you see that reaction over there you need to be very very careful when making input on potter because it can sometimes splatter all over and you can even hurt yourself sometimes so to prevent all this you need to cook this on low medium heat to prevent all this all right i'll cover once more and allow it to cook until it thickens up very very well so after extra 10 minutes i am back to check on it and as you can see it's looking all good and very very thick at this point the input on potter is ready but it's left it one more thing so i'll go in with my palm oil and when the palm oil goes in like this that means your input on potter is ready the amount of palm oil you go in depends on how you want yours i don't really love the palm oil to be plenty on it this is just perfect for me right i'll give it a gentle mist and i will cover it halfway and allow it to simmer down a little bit and ta our uh, impotum potter our uh, impihu our uh, cocoa and porridge or uh, anyoma is ready yes it has a lot of names so now all that is left is for us to serve ourselves and enjoy i hope you're going to give this recipe a try and you are definitely going to love it fam let me know in the comment section what you think about this canyon put on potter recipe it came out so good the taste was just amazing and trust me and trust the process as well you are definitely going to love it thank you so much for watching this video to this point and if you enjoyed to this point that means you are always a proud foodie member kindly do subscribe to my channel also turn on the post notification bell and be notified anytime i post a new video thank you so much and kindly stay blessed bye